If you guys are looking for the cheapest coins on the internet right now, make sure to check out my brand new sponsor, MMO EXP. They have the cheapest coins that you can find anywhere on the internet. Use code Poodle at checkout for 5% off your order. Hey guys. Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today, we got a second video. I actually did not think we'd have one, but today we do have the Madden 21 news. We have franchise updates, face of the franchise, my career type stuff. We got all that news. So we got the Ultimate Team blog, I believe, a few days ago. It's last week. This week, we got... The franchise one now by the way when i say ultimate team blog i mean they briefly reference things not like the official one this is i believe mostly the official thing you want to know about mostly franchise stuff so before we get into today's video go down below hit that subscribe button turn the notify boys come join the family if you're new like i said hit that sub button guys you don't gotta watch now it's all good just make sure to show some love and support in madden 21 but let's head on over to that blog show you guys everything could be quite a lengthy read so i want to get over this so i can explain in depth but guys, let's head on over and check everything out. So here we are, Madden NFL 21 franchise updates. Now, as we see here, all the things you want to know about Madden 21 update and franchise, well, franchise updates, sorry, read that backwards. Anyways, welcome back to Gridiron Note for Madden fans. Today, we're focusing on updates coming to the face of the franchise and classic franchise in Madden NFL 21. Okay, so that's good. I actually play quite a bit of classic franchise, so I really hope they do some stuff for that. In the face of the franchise section, you'll see chapters of your career, detailed out starting in high school, storylines, NFL career, Take note to these storylines, they can appear in different years throughout your NFL career, which gives face the franchise even more depth. Okay, so it's going to be more than one year than it was last year. That's pretty good. Last year was like mainly the first year, then little things after. This is supposed to be continuing. Okay, so face the franchise, rise to fame mode. So you're going to shape your way from high school all the way to the Hall of Fame. So you're going to start in high school, where you start your journey, you're going to be embarking on your football stardom. You customize your high school experience by choosing your school name, city, and even mascots. I mean, you can kind of like copy your actual high school football experience, which is pretty cool. Uh, you're going to be behind school's resident star Tommy Matthews. Your back will be shortly lived as Tommy's been harboring a secret about his health, one that he only shares to you, leaving you with the crisis of conscience. Do you keep his secret or risk his health, or do you betray his trust and shed light in his potentially serious condition? So pretty much, you get to decide whether or not you're going to be the starter or not. I mean, probably you'll get it either way. But moving on, still pretty cool. Then you get to college. Your, your story doesn't end there as you're thrust onto the center stage national signing day, as 10 uh, FPS schools vie for your talents. Normal signing day, dramatic twist after you don the hat of the school you chose to attend. Once you step on the campus, defy, def definitely navigate a quarterback controversy at the gate. You also have to figure out how to appease your dominant old school approach. Newly minted head coach, Red O'Brien, all while attempt to build a draft stock. All right, all right, so much. A lot, a lot here to go over, but you can always switch positions to running back or wide receiver or pack your bag and take your chances at the NFL. So that's pretty cool. And I believe you can play two college football years, pretty sure. If, you're, if it's up to you if you stay or not. So that's pretty cool too. So they are going to make more depth in this, which I do like because I always hate it. I was always like the simple one and done, two games in the NFL. So that could be fun. Combine and draft. That's cool that they did add the combine. You're going to be able to do the 40-yard dash, which is pretty cool. I actually think the combine's always been pretty cool in real life. So it's kind of cool they're adding, as you guys can see here. Signing, NFL honors, all that stuff. This is, this is actually pretty cool. Hall of Fame. So moving on, uh, let's see. We set the coach just without allow you to defensive players. Okay, so we already know about that from Ultimate Team. NFL storylines. You will be, there will be numerous twi twists and obstacles in the NFL. We will be able to live out NFL storylines from headlines. Franchise savior. You entered the NFL as one of the most highly touted prospects in your draft class. All right. Next man up. After being selected in the NFL draft by a solidified start of your position, it's clear that even if your time is now, will come soon in the understudy. So, Pretty much here, you're going to be like Joe Burrow. Next man up, you're going to be like an Aaron Rodgers right behind a Brett Favre. Understudy, you're going to be like uh, Colin Kaepernick or one of those guys who just didn't expect to get a, st a spot for a while. Or even, I eh, can't think of anyone else. Bitter rivals, you're going to have dream teams, Super Bowl expectations, the comeback, turf war, into the sunset as you're retiring. Characters, Tommy Matthews, Reggie Brown, Coach Fita Vite, Coach Red O'Brien, Snoop Dogg, and Rich Eisen. So that's pretty cool as well. Let's see some more screenshots here. Looking pretty cool so far, to be completely honest with you guys. I just hope they do some stuff for actual franchise right here. All right, so that's cool. So let's go. So classic franchise updates. New X Factors will make their way to class X franchise. That's not really news. Thank you for letting us know. We're getting what's already in the game. Franchise expanded the wildcard playoff round to match the real life, featuring three games for each conference instead of two. Okay, that, that's, again, not a new franchise feature, just real life. Updated rookie contract amounts to be more authentic to the actual draft rookie contracts for all seven rounds. Guess that's cool. Retuned every player's position ability to better consider in-game effectiveness of the ability and our technical authenticity. Also made the second ability unlocked for most positions. 85 was 80 of overall in NFL 20. Okay, that's fair, I guess. Fixed multiple cases in logic considered for a depth chart upgrade at the end of the season, not checking the correct stat types. 
See, like, again, this was gonna get me mad. I don't know. Yeah, it's right there at the end. Okay, so this was gonna get me mad. Pretty much, they're fixing things that should have been fixed this year that weren't. These aren't, like, new features. They're just fixing issues, like, yeah, exactly, when you wouldn't get the dev chart upgrade at the end of the season. Updates to all team back end depth chart philosophy so they match the team scheme. Okay. Added position specific offensive lineman archetype progression buckets for to variance and overall formulas. Previously, all offensive linemen were pulled, were being pulled from the same progression bucket. Do they get abilities? Do they get dev games? Like, we never got that really. Fixed issue or defensive playbook seems where our fictional coaches would be misaligned. Okay, so pretty much. Let me wrap up Madden 21 franchise for you. Same franchise this year. Fixing issues, no new features. That's that's great. What's next? Our next gridiron notes will be coming Tuesday, July 14th, where we'll be talking about playbooks in Madden NFL 21. One is out worldwide on August 28th. Pre-order the deluxe session to play three days early, so August 25th. Stay in the conversation, everything, everything, everything. Okay, so what have I got from all this as a total? So pretty much they're putting a lot of effort into facing the franchise. Now, the reason I think they're doing that is because 2K. 2K's best mode, in my opinion, is it's my career and it's park and all that other stuff. So maybe they want to see if they can compete on the whole my career status. Now, for them to actually have done that and actually be a competitor with the whole my career, they have to be online, a park, a place to walk around, play with your friends online. They, they're not, it's going to be really hard to implement that. At least they haven't tried. I don't know. But that's going to be the only way for them to actually go ahead and do that. So until they do that, I mean, face the franchise. Will I play it? Probably. Will I enjoy it the first time through? Probably. But if it's anything like this year, face of the franchise is a one and done. You have fun. You play a season or two, and then you're like, eh, okay, that was fun. But then you start again, you're like, okay, it's not as fun anymore. Now, this time they did add running back, wide receiver, and quarterback. So you could play it three different ways. So again, still could be pretty fun, even if you could, since you can play your three different positions. But again, not bad. Hopefully there is enough features as they do state here. Well, isn't my most excited, you know, most tatted game mode. No, I think it's going to be ultimate team for me and franchise. Now it sucks is guys, I don't know what EA is doing with franchise. They have not, okay, let me put this simply for you. E franchise has been the same since Madden 13. And I, I kid you not, no joking, so dead serious. It has been the same look, the same logic, almost same everything since Madden 13. Seven straight years, we've almost gotten the same franchise. All they change is sometimes a color scheme and that's about it. And even that we're lucky if we get franchise really does not change all they do like they say there they implement things that are in the game so they added abilities to ultimate team oh franchise is getting them i hope so there's abilities in madden you know they, they they add oh we're fixing playbooks you're fixing them you needed a new game to fix the playbook glitch like that should have been already done you needed a new game to fix issues where certain logic wouldn't work that should have been fixed in the year in a patch or something not it just doesn't really add up you know like guys if you take out everything here that's just a fix that should have been this year that whole thing is gone. Fixed an issue. Added specific archetypes for alignment. That should have been already done. Updates team philosophies. And fixed so that the dev traits are upgraded on the correct, based on correct stat types. That was a serious issue, and they doing this now. Guys, their franchise is the same as last year. Set it and forget it. That's about it. They've changed nothing. Uh Am I upset about that? Kinda. Again, I'm an ultimate team guy in terms of my my YouTube, my you know my, my career, my job, whatever. So again, for me, I won't get mad about this because again, what matters to me at the end of the day is ultimate team. Hopefully that's good. But for all you franchise guys, I do feel your pain. I do like a lot of franchise and I play a lot of online franchises. So it does kind of suck to see something like this happen. But again, we what should we expect at this point? I saw a funny meme actually. It was like, when you expect absolutely nothing from franchise and they still somehow let you down. And that's the truth. I didn't expect anything to be upgraded like usual. And somehow I'm more upset after reading that. It did let me down. But guys, real quick, make sure to go pre-order Madden 20 as soon as possible. Madden 21, sorry. There is a 10% off going on on Madden. I don't know how long that's going to go on for, but you may want to take advantage of that. If you have EA access and you have Madden, uh, you buy it on the store here, as it says, for 10% off. I believe you do get a total of about 20% off. So you buy the $100 edition, it's 80. You buy the 60, you're probably getting it close to like 45, 50 after tax. So it's still a decent sale. If you're going to get it regardless, might as well pick it up as soon as possible. Just my little quick advice there. Guys, I'm excited for everything. We are just about slightly under two months out from Madden 21. We're well into your reality. It's like one month, three and a half weeks to be almost exact per se. Hopefully, you know, we can get our hands on it a little bit earlier or EA access something five, five days that they announce later on. Hopefully, because August 25th is super late. I really don't know how we're going to survive that long, but we're going to make it work, guys. Well, that's about it for the video. If you did enjoy, if you're into the channel, go down below. Hit that subscribe button, turn that on your boys, come join the family. Give this video a big thumbs up as always. And if you haven't already, subscribe to the channel. Comment down below what you think of this. Are you upset about franchise? What things would you like to see? And what is your most exciting news so far you've heard about Madden 21? Guys, that's about it. Hope you guys enjoyed. Enjoy the rest of your day. Thank you for watching. I'm out. Peace.